What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a third year medical student studying King's College London. And this video I really wanted to take a second to talk to you guys about a few like positive things that I think we'll all gain from uh, the situation that is currently affecting the world. And also I want to start by saying that I hope I don't come across as being sensitive. Um, if you have been personally affected by the coronavirus, and you want to talk to someone about it, then please feel free to send me an email. I know so much is going on on the earth right now, and I know a lot of people are suffering, and my prayers go out to you guys. But there's been a lot of things on the news about you know people dying, and people not being well, and it's a very tough situation for all of us to be going through. But I thought it'd be like a really good idea just to talk about a few positive things that may come out of this situation of having the coronavirus around. So I want to set you guys a challenge. I, I want to challenge you guys to just leave one comment down below about uh, what positivity you've taken from this experience and maybe we can all come together and see some light in the darkness. So I'm going to talk about four things that I've at least gained from this whole experience of being in isolation with the coronavirus and hopefully you can learn something from it too. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing on my list of things that I've learned is first off, what really matters in life and what makes me happy. So as some of you might know, I'm actually in Norway right now and it's really funny that I literally only came here with a backpack. Like, I was supposed to be here only for the entire weekend. Uh, I came here on a Friday and the plan was to fly back on a Monday. So all I brought was backpack and I brought with me uh, two pairs of trousers, uh, four t-shirts, four boxes, a laptop and a Kindle and, and my camera. And that's literally all I brought. And that's all that I'll have for the next couple of weeks. Like because I'm in isolation for 14 days, I can't even go to the shop to buy a new t-shirt if I wanted to. So the first thing that I've learned is what truly matters to me. And what I've realized now is that the things that I own and all my belongings actually made me no happier at all. Like I'm literally, I'm no less happier now in Norway with only a backpack than I would be if I was in London with all my belongings. What I've learned about what truly matters to me and what truly makes me happy is not necessarily what I own, but the people I have in my life. What has really contributed to my happiness is being here with my family, uh, spending time, uh, talking to my friends on the phone, what really has truly made a difference in my happiness and my mental like health and mental well-being are the people who I have with me in my life. When I go back to London, one of my goals actually is to donate so many of the things I have because now I realize how irrelevant all of those things are and just how important the people who I have in my life are to me. And from this whole period of being in isolation, of not even being able to go to the shops to buy uh, the necessities or things I need, has really shown me what truly matters in life and how that has nothing to do with things that I own. The second thing the coronavirus has shown me is it's actually brought me a lot closer to people in my life who matter most and has also taken me away from the people in my life who may not necessarily be right for me. To give you a quick example of what I mean, uh, one of my best friends called Joy, uh, she's one of my best friends who I've been best friends with for like three quarters of my life. Uh, she actually lives around half an hour away from me in London and I used to see her normally like once a week. But now because of the coronavirus situation, I've actually been talking to her maybe two or three times a week over the phone. And this whole coronavirus situation has definitely brought me closer to her. I think before just being in London and knowing that at the back of my mind, she's only half an hour away. I can see her whenever I want. Uh, she'll always be there. Having that at the back of my mind actually prevented me from seeing her and actually spending the time talking to her as often as I want to and as often as I can. But being stuck here in isolation in Norway has actually shown me just how much I value these relationships and just how much I care about certain people. As another example, uh, not knowing the next time uh, that I'll see my mum. So my mum lives in Kenya for those of you that don't know, uh, but not knowing the next time that I'll actually see my mum makes me miss her so much more and actually makes me value the relationship I have with her so much more. And I'm sure that the next time I actually see these people in my life, the next time I actually have them with me in person, I'll value our relationship completely differently than I did before. And what this experience has truly taught me is to never ever take for granted the relationships that I have in my life. On the flip side to that, and in terms of the people that aren't right for me, this experience and this time apart has really shown me and has really made me think about the relationships that I have with certain people. It's made me think about the people that I want to check up on, the people that I miss, the people that I want to spend time with, the people who've been checking up on me, all of these things have all come together in making me really value the people that I have in my life and also maybe reevaluate the people that uh, may not necessarily be right for my future. The third thing the coronavirus has taught me is to actually appreciate things so much more. Like to give you a crazy example, showering as an example is something, it's something so weird that I really, really enjoy right now. Like when I'm back in London and I'm so busy like trying to get to bed, Showering can seem like such a task and such a thing I have to just do. And a lot of the times when I'm actually spending time in the shower, my mind is thinking about other things. It's thinking about the stress of the day. It's thinking about like what I want to do next. My mind is really preoccupied by other things in my life and other things I'm thinking about. But actually like taking the time to stand in the shower and know that I have time for this 
and feel like feel the water on my skin, feel the warmth of the shower. It sounds so like, it sounds really, really weird. And I hope I'm not sounding like a complete freak here, but I'm generally finding joy in smaller things that are just like, that just wouldn't make sense to enjoy in your normal like day-to-day -day life. So coronavirus has really taught me to find happiness in the smallest of things and to really value these small wins every single day. What I've realized now is I don't have to do a huge, amazing thing to feel accomplished in my day. I can literally enjoy like a nice warm shower. I can read a small part of a book. I can grow in my relationship with someone this much more. All of these small wins really add up to all the big wins in the big picture. And I'm really starting to learn to find joyness and to find happiness in the things that would have been a lot less enjoyable um, had I not been in the situation. So I've been in isolation in Norway for almost two weeks now. I literally haven't gone to the shops at all. Uh, I haven't been like in public places. The people that I've been talking to for the last week have literally been only my family in our house. Never again will I ever, ever, ever take for granted the, the random conversation I have with a stranger uh, on the streets. The random conversation I have with a bus driver or a shopkeeper. The random hand I shake uh, with a patient in the hospital. Or the smile that you give someone maybe randomly on the street when you walk past them. Never again will I ever take for granted these small things in life. And it's really, really made me appreciate the smaller things in life so much more. Uh, so that's the third thing that coronavirus has taught me. The fourth and final thing that I want to tell you guys um, about like what coronavirus has taught me is to reflect a lot, lot more. It's really, really hard like in our day-to-day -day lives when you when you have a job and you're so busy and you know you come home at 7 p.m. and like your your mind is literally like on 100 miles per hour. I know like my life can certainly be like that. Uh, you know, we work for five days a week and then we only have two days off on the weekends to uh, to make ourselves like happy, to go to the gym, to spend time with your family, spend time with your friends. That's not a lot of time and sometimes we can literally, like, we can really, really put reflecting right at the back of our minds. Like we, sometimes we have no time at all just to sit down and to reflect on our thoughts, reflect on our feelings. And I honestly think this is what uh, can sometimes lead to mental illnesses. Sometimes when we're not able to reflect on certain feelings and certain thoughts, all of these things can build up in our minds, in our brain until one day we break and it leads to an episode of acute psychosis. It leads to depression, it leads to uh, schizophrenia. I really do think that sometimes it is so important just to sit down and reflect on life, like reflect on your past experiences, really like come to peace with certain things in your life. So for me personally, I've been able to actually sit down, reflect on my past experiences, reflect on my past relationships, uh, friendships, on literally everything I've been through my past. And I've really been able to reach a certain level of peace in my heart and in my mind that I may not necessarily have been able to do had the situation not been the way it is. Like whenever in your entire life will your life literally be on pause? Like this will never, this may never happen again. It certainly never happens in my life and it may never ever happen again where we have time to actually sit, sit down and deal with the things that we haven't had time to necessarily deal with. And that's certainly such an important thing to be able to do on a daily basis. And it's definitely something that I'm gonna implement for sure when life goes back to normal. All of these things together, like reflecting my past experiences, have really led me to realize like what I want in life. Not necessarily just like to do my career. Um, it's made me realize what I want outside of my career as well. I've had time to think about, you know, the areas of my life I want to work on, you know, what aspects of myself I want to work on, and also the things that I want to do outside of medical school and in the future as well. So that's the fourth and final thing that coronavirus has taught me. So to conclude the video, I wrote down a few things I wanted to mention. The first is let's not go back into our normal lives having like taken nothing from this experience. Let's actually try our best to have these few weeks to really grow in ourselves like work on ourselves, work on other people, work on our relationships. Uh, let's take the time to reflect on things and grow into someone better uh, for this earth. If, if the whole entire earth right now and, and the whole of humanity can take this time to just to work on ourselves and to become like better versions of ourselves, I honestly think that coming back from this virus, we will all be better and stronger as a community. It is honestly um, a horrible situation to be in, guys. Like I know it's, it's hard for all of us, it's hard for me as well, but I truly, truly believe that there's a lot of strength in weakness. I think that at times where there is a lot of weakness going on in the world and we all can, can be quite weak, there's a certain level of strength that comes with that. And see just how stronger we will be as a community and as um, as human beings in general. As a final point, it's also made me realize just how connected we all are. Like to think that this virus started uh, with one person most probably, like maybe it was you know someone in China who was maybe handling bushmeat uh, in a different way 
and that led to this whole situation that we're all in it's made me like really put things into perspective and realize just how connected we all are like sometimes it's very easy to think that oh this person is different to me like this person thinks different to me they look different to me they sound different to me there is literally no chance i can get along with this person but it actually makes me realize that we're all human beings we all share the same strengths and most importantly we all share the same weaknesses and vulnerabilities we're all similar in so many different ways that we don't even realize and with the world being currently as it is hopefully once coronavirus passes we'll all be stronger and more connected with one another than we ever have been before so whilst i do believe that yes it is a tough situation it's a horrible situation for, for all of us to be in I really think there is some strength in this weakness and I really think that we will learn a lot from this experience of coronavirus. So as I said, I think it'd be really interesting to know about what you guys are learning yourselves. I think it'd be so beautiful if we all shared maybe one or two things in the comments down below about what uh, positivity we've taken from this whole experience of coronavirus. But that's pretty much it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope it's given you some food for thought. It's been a really good experience for me as well to just sit down here and reflect on all the positive things that are going on in light of all of this darkness. Sometimes it can be so easy for me as well just to sit down and have a bad day and like worry about the future and worry about when we're gonna get back to normal, you know? Worrying about my career, worrying about all of these different things. And it's been actually really great just to sit down and record my thoughts and actually take the time to write down all of these things about all of the positivity and all the positive things that I'm getting out of this horrible experience. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well, and I'll see you guys on the next one.